Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be talking about the YouTube fight. Ugh, I just cringed. Uh, more specifically, what will happen after Logan Paul beats KSI? Is he going to continue being a douche and make everyone who gave him a second chance regret it? Or is he going to actually show us that he's changed and is working to become a better person and use this stage he has to spread a positive message? But before we get into it, for the one person out there who doesn't know what I'm talking about, this is the biggest internet sporting event in all of history. Logan Paul and KSI with a combined audience of 40 million people will be stepping into the boxing ring August 25th to see who will become the new YouTube boxing champion. But this fight is definitely going to break some records and bring both of these guys some serious money. If you're new here and you enjoy the video, subscribe. I want to hear your thoughts after the video. And let's just get right into it because there's a lot riding on the outcome of this fight. With KSI's last fight at 1.6 million live viewers and 25 million after the fight, they ended up selling out the Copper Box Arena and just had a lot of eyes on them in general. This one has twice the combined audience and has a lot more riding on who comes out the reigning champion. Now, there's a few ways this can turn out. Um, to make it simple, let's draw a diagram. Right here, you got the fight. And then we've got Logan Paul winning, right? So let's put an LP there for Logan. And then this would be if KSI won. Now, the route most people are expecting is the first one. This one, Logan Paul's an absolute douche. Surprise, Logan Paul's a douche. So this would be if the fight goes on, Logan Paul wins, and then he's an absolute douche to KSI. This ends up boosting his ego. He makes some snide remarks to JJ after the fight while he's down and, and hurt. He says something about being a Maverick. Oh, what'd you say? Back at the conference or whatever. And then throws up some Maverick gang signs, ends up plugging his merch a bunch, and then ends up running for office and becoming president or something. Thankfully, we've got Doc Brown here with the DeLorean. We're gonna travel in time and see what would happen if Logan Paul ended up being a douche still. You gotta come back with me. All right, let's go, Doc. Where? Into the DeLorean. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Logan Paul Museum, dedicated to Hill Valley's number one citizen and America's greatest living folk hero, the one and only Logan Paul. Of course, we've all heard the legend, but who is the man? Whoa, okay, that's enough of that reality. Let's go back to the present day and hope this doesn't happen. So in the case that this would happen, which I honestly don't think it's too far-fetched of an idea, this would lead to JJ probably being humiliated. KSI humiliation, right? Okay, so if KSI got humiliated, he's been building this fight up for so long and saying that he's gonna do it. He's been talking the talk and now he's gonna walk the walk. He's gonna beat Logan and go pro, right? That's his dream. And then all this talking adds up to him losing the fight and getting beat in front of millions of live viewers, all of his fans. This might just crush his spirit. He might end up losing faith in himself that he can actually go pro. He might not be able to handle losing. He's in a spot right now where he's fine on YouTube. He's gotten what he wants out of this and he has enough belief and faith in himself that he thinks he can go pro in a different industry. And we can see from his training in the last fight that he's been working hard. He's been putting in the work to do that. But if Logan's a douche, he ends up destroying KSI and just rubs it in his face. This might crush his spirits and his dream might end up collapsing on him. I really hope this doesn't happen. The second option leads to Logan Paul's redemption. Now, it would honestly be great to see Logan Paul redeem himself. We saw some really bad stuff go down at the beginning of this year that was just not the greatest for the golden boy of YouTube to be doing. It puts a bad rep on all of us. And I think if we saw any kindness or good sportsmanship after the fight, after he won, after he's in a position to boast and say, oh, I told you so, and shove it all in everyone's face and be that douche, if he ends up having good sportsmanlike conduct and reaching out to JJ and saying, hey man, you put up a good fight. I want to see you fight again. Good job. This could repaint his public image. This could rebrand himself like he's been saying he's been wanting to do. You go back to the Casey Neistat video and everyone had their doubts about him saying that he's changed himself and he has different views and wants to paint himself in this new light. This could prove us all wrong. All the people who think that he's just putting on a front and still his old same douchey self, this could be what we need to show us that he is a changed person. If he uses this stage he has to spread a positive message and show that you fail, you can become something great again. You can inspire others. You can make your wrongs right. If he does that, this could completely change how the public sees him. A lot of people are giving him a second chance and this could solidify that and encourage others to give him a second chance. This could literally be the foot in the door to getting back to where he was. And this is really important because if we see Logan Paul redeem himself, I think it'll in turn lead to KSI's redemption. Redemption. Okay, I know I use the same word twice, but just bear with me. Hear me out. 
Okay, so if Logan Paul ends up beating KSI and in turn reaches out his hand, picks him up off the mat and says, hey man, good job, you put up a good fight. This could be what KSI needs to kind of boost his confidence and get him back up so he doesn't go to the humiliation route here. We don't want to see him go down this path of a broken spirit and his dreams being crushed because he gets lost and some douche puts it in his face that, oh, he sucks. Now with KSI's redemption, he hasn't necessarily done anything to be viewed badly in the eye of the public. He's had a little bit of a bad past and he doesn't have the best rep as a role model now, but if we see KSI get beat by Logan Paul and still go on to be a pro boxer and be successful and become the champion of his weight class or something, that would be the most inspiring story ever. He would be elevated and become this role model that people should look up to. He could tell the story of getting knocked down and getting beat when you thought you had everything in the bag and still rising up against all odds and becoming the thing that you dream about. And we already saw similar behavior in his Joe Weller fight when after the fight, he went over to Joe and paid him respects and said he believed in what he stood for and talked about the importance of mental illness and how it shouldn't be taken lightly and he was sorry for what he said earlier at the press conference. He did a good job winning. He wasn't showboating and being a douche, but he was instead being a role model, a good sportsman. He had good character. It showed through in that fight. He was in a position to boast and say, oh, I told you so to Joe but instead he was respectful. He instead told Joe that he put up a good fight, he was well trained, he was harder than he thought, and he wanted this event to raise awareness for mental illness. All this behavior just points to JJ will be redeemed when he does lose. He's not gonna stay down but he's gonna keep going on to become that pro boxer. But at the same time, if Logan does take the route of being a douche and rubbing it in KSI's face, he could get humiliated, yes. But I also think that since KSI has nothing to lose, I think we could see him going on to be redeemed even if Logan Paul is a douche. I think if Logan Paul's a douche, it could either lead to KSI being humiliated and his dreams being crushed, or it could lead to an even bigger redemption on KSI's part. If Logan Paul's a douche and rubbing it in his face that he won and he told him so, and JJ still says, hey man, good fight, and tries to shake his hand, and Logan Paul just storms off stage and goes and celebrates with his team, this could even put JJ in a better light. This could make him a better role model. It would show more character if he didn't have that hand helping him off the mat, but instead had to do it all on his own, and stayed strong, and stayed the course, and went on to pursue his dreams. So in terms of the fight's outcome, I think it could go multiple ways. And I really hope that we see a redemption on both of their parts, but if anything goes wrong, it would definitely be Logan being the douche, I think. But KSI has a strong mind. We've seen it in the past, so there's a good chance he can be redeemed deemed even when he does lose and Logan's a douche. That being said, I truly hope he doesn't get humiliated and Logan's not a douche. This will also go to show the importance of second chances. When someone messes up, it's possible to change and become better. You're not destined to be this douche your whole life. You can become a role model and make a good impact and spread a positive message. He could easily take the mic after the fight after he wins and raise awareness for something or, or tell the story of what it means to change and become better. That's what he's been preaching lately in his content and this is what he needs to seal the deal and show the world that he's a better person. He's changed. He's not the same Logan he was at the beginning of 2018. As for JJ, I hope he continues his dream of becoming a pro boxer and goes on to pursue that and show kids that even when you get knocked down, you can come right back up and come back twice as hard, twice as fast and be better than you were. I think there's a lot of potential for good stories and good character and good role models to come out of this, but a lot of things need to fall into the right place for that to happen. But on a more serious note, I really think that YouTube's in a spot right now where it needs some new role models, it needs some people that show character. I'm not the biggest fan of uh, Jake Paul type of content the dabbing on the haters to deal with your life problems. I want to see someone who has a real story of messing up, having the whole world hate him, and then him being able to rise out of that and become a better person, the bigger man, and be able to come back from that. He did good getting back into his content. He didn't go into a five-year state of depression. He handled it well, and I want to see him come back. I don't want to see him tasing any more dead rats. There's just no place for that. We don't need the youth, the generation below us, watching that type of content. While they're in that young state and they're developing and they're learning, they need good people to look up to and YouTube is putting these people in front of their eyes. So uh, let's cross our fingers and hope that all goes well. I want to see two people come out of this fight better than they were and they both make for great stories and be great examples and I guess we'll see what happens on August 25th but thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and share this with a friend who's keeping up with the fight and I want to hear what you guys think about this in the comments. Plus if you shave your body go support me on Patreon Blades. I appreciate you guys stopping by to watch the video but until next time I will see you in the next video. Peace.
You've got to come back with me. All right, let's go, Doc. Wait. Look at the DeLorean. 